In this video we will cover the pressure-based solver. Mainly, the differences between the two options available in Fluent. The advantages and disadvantages. And when to use the different pressure-based solvers. So, what is a pressure-based solver? The pressure-based solver uses projection method to numerically solve time-dependent incompressible fluid flow problems. In this method, the velocity field is obtained from the momentum equation. Mass conservation of the velocity field is achieved by solving a pressure correction equation. Since the governing equations are nonlinear and coupled to each other, to reach a solution the process needs iterations where the entire set of governing equations is solved repeatedly until the solution converges. In ANSYS Fluent there are two pressure-based solver algorithms the user can choose from. A segregated algorithm, and a coupled algorithm. Let us begin first with the pressure-based segregated solver. This solver uses a solution algorithm where the governing equations are solved sequentially. In the segregated algorithm, the governing equations for each of the solution variables are solved one after another. The process involves updating the fluid properties, solve the momentum equations, one after another, using the updated fluid properties, solve the pressure correction equation using the obtained velocity field and the mass flux. Correct face mass fluxes, pressure, and the velocity field with the new values. Solve any equations for additional quantities then check for convergence. This process is repeated until the set convergence criteria is met. Each governing equation, while being solved, is decoupled or segregated from other equations, thus it is named the segregated algorithm. The pressure-based coupled solver. The other algorithm available in Fluent is the pressure-based coupled algorithm, which solves a coupled system of equations comprising the momentum and continuity equations. Thus, instead of solving the momentum and pressure variables sequentially they are solved simultaneously. The remaining equations are then solved in a decoupled manner as in the segregated algorithm. This diagram shows a comparison of the process. Advantages and disadvantages The segregated algorithm is memory efficient since the discretized equations need only be stored in the memory one at a time. However, the solution convergence is relatively slow, as the equations are solved in a decoupled manner. Also, the segregated solver allows flexibility in the solution procedure as damping can be applied to each equation separately. For the coupled solver since the momentum and continuity equations are solved in a closely coupled manner, the rate of convergence improves when compared to the segregated algorithm. However, the memory requirement increases by one and a half to two times that of the segregated algorithm since the discrete system of all momentum and pressure-based continuity equations needs to be stored in the memory when solving for the velocity and pressure fields. It can be said that a segregated solver can solve an iteration faster than a coupled solver, however, will need more iterations to reach a converged solution. On the other hand a coupled solver will be slower for each iteration but the result is likely to be more accurate. The segregated solver is applicable for a wide range of flow regimes from low-speed incompressible flow to high-speed compressible flow and should be used when there are no complicated physical conditions. The pressure-based coupled solver is applicable for most flows and yields superior performance to the standard segregated pressure-based solver in more demanding applications where pressure-velocity coupling is important for convergence, for example in scenarios of high inertia or strong body forces. Thank you for watching.